Hello and welcome everybody. We are here at the Zohra Manchodri Stadium in Chattogram. Quick run uh, of day four of the second test match of the Dutch Bangla Bank series between Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. We've got the former Sri Lankan international Farviz Maru uh, Maruf uh, alongside Maruf Bhai. Uh, happy with the performance the boys have put up out there and particularly bowling in the second innings. I thought both the teams have fought uh, fought really hard uh, in today's play. I thought uh, Sri Lanka has expected when they got the uh, 500 lane, which is a healthy one, they declared and Bangladesh did put a fight up. So I think uh, it's a day, good, day, good day of test cricket. Bangladesh, you know, it could have easily trumbled mm -hmm. under these conditions, under so much pressure, but they came out with a plan of frustrating the Sri Lankan. I think for a certain extent, they've achieved it. Yeah, uh, 268 for 7 on board, chasing 511, uh, still need 243, just 3 wickets in hand. Uh, bit of a fight put up by Bangladesh, plenty of starts but couldn't convert. Yeah, I think Shakib al Hassan, Litton Kumar does bat really well. That's something that I, I've enjoyed it after a while. Uh, Litton Kumar does, I've seen him play many great knocks for Bangladesh uh, in Test Cricket as well. Shakib playing uh, Test Cricket after a while. They showed a lot, uh, lot of patience, a lot of character out there and they meant business in the middle. It's not about shot making, it's about protecting their wicket and giving the fight back to the Sri Lankans. And I thought you know, both of the dustpans would have been uh, pretty unhappy that they could have, uh, couldn't have gone and got a big one. But uh, for a certain next, as I said, Bangladesh will be happier with their first attempt. Yeah, uh, these are the wickets. Uh, this was the first one to fall. Prabhajai Surya chipping in with the deliveries and uh, this was a good catch taken in the slips also. Uh, Vishwa Fernando getting this wicket. Yeah, I think Vishwa Fernando as well as Lairu Kumar ran in entire day along with Asita Fernando. Mm -hmm. They've been rewarded with some wickets yeah! as well as Prabhajai Surya, top edge of Mamanu Laku is trying to go for a Probably a conventional three, but got top edge because of the bounce. But coming to Mendes, what a story that it has been. A couple a of wickets. Catch. Yeah, brilliant catch. Nishan Maduskar to take nothing away from that. But I thought coming to Mendes, what what can he do wrong in this series? <laughs> he has done both uh, really well in this uh, in this innings. Up in Silat, he made runs. Up in Stratagram, he made runs. So it's definitely a series that coming to will you know remember for a, for a long time. Mm -hmm. And the fast ball of Sri Lanka, as they did in the first innings, ran in, gave their everything and was slightly disappointed with Prabhat Jai Surya. I mean, he was trying to, trying many things, uh, you know, in the second spell and the third spell. That's why the inconsistency and his uh, run rate for over is almost four runs per over. Mm -hmm. So that's a little disappointing as far as Sri Lanka is concerned. But overall, it's a great day for Sri Lanka picking up seven wickets. Yeah, you mentioned Kavindu and he comes in and takes the wicket of Shakib to break that 61-run partnership also. Uh, but we've got another day left, day five of this second test match uh, here in Chattogram. Uh, as Bangladesh still have three wickets in hand, around 243 runs to get. Uh, we start at 9.45, so we'll be here again on the fifth day and uh, at least Bangladesh making sure that the teams and all of us have to come back on the fifth day. Nice, what a nice day. We are here to work, let's work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and why not, why not? And uh, all you have to do is tune in right on time and uh, enjoy the last day of the Test match. See you all tomorrow.